No James Harden, no problem for Philadelphia. Joel Embiid and the Sixers are in San Francisco to take on your reigning finals MVP, Steph Curry and the NBA champion Golden State Warriors. Curry, beautiful cut to get a quick deuce. Joel Embiid was just a man amongst boys in this basketball game. The reality is the Warriors don't have anybody that could deal with a guy like that. This is the truth. Jordan Poole, though, was in his bag in this one as he knocks in the three. More on Jordan as this game nears its end. But first things first, let's show some respect to Embiid and his passing ability. He finds Tobias Harris for three of the end. It's Clay Thompson with a three of his own. We're in the second half now, and Embiid still putting in work. It's going to notch his 12 40-point game of the season, but the Sixers are in a dogfight here with GSW Thompson. Another trade ball is good. And B responds. Philly's back up a deuce. We shall take this thing to the end of the third where Tyrese Maxey gets the three-pointer to roll in. Could Philadelphia really pull this off on the roll without James Harden? The answer is no, because Jordan Poole had a fourth quarter to remember. Other end, look at this move from MB. That is just ridiculous. Two of his 46 points and nine rebounds. Also had eight assists. Thompson's going to ring in a three-pointer. But in the fourth, it was the Jordan Poole show. How about 19 points in the fourth? 33 in the game for Jordan Poole, the Warriors' secret weapon. Golden State's now up by five and looking to close this one out. Good thing is they got a chef that can do just that. It's Curry, who also had 29 points. Warriors get a game that they just couldn't afford to lose to the Philadelphia 76ers, who didn't have Harden. GSW wins by eight. Nikola Jokic finally receives his trophy for winning February Player of the Month. All right, let's put the accolades down. The Greek Freaks in the building. Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks in Denver for an MVP type battle. Giannis versus Jokic, I'll take it early on. It was the Greek Freak flexing his muscles. Milwaukee up. Here comes that other guy. He's won like the last two of those things. It's Jokic with the footwork. Jokic with the deuce plus the foul. But Nikola got a lot of help in the first quarter from his star teammate, Jamal Murray. 18 points in the opening frame. It's Denver coming back to take the lead. In the second, defense leading the offense. Milwaukee stealing and getting it to the man with the plan. It's Giannis again scoring. Drew Holiday with a three and then back inside we go it's the greek freak for show 31 points nine rebounds for Giannis. you see what he's working with as he remains a part of the mvp conversation now to one of the top two guys in that conversation it's Jokic showing out in quarter number three that tray ball gives denver the lead once again uncle jeff is coming right in the Greek Freak's direction, and he ain't scared. You know your old uncle used to get up back in the day. He can still fly from every now and then. Jeff Green posterizing Giannis under the cupo. Denver's run is not done. It's Murray. Two of his 26 points. Jokic, a little give and go with KCP. The Joker had 11 assists. He didn't get a triple-double, but you're about to see one of Jokic's six rebounds getting his own miss to go. Jokic at 31 points, and he outduels Giannis and the Bucks because his team outdueled the Milwaukee Bucks. Denver gets the 129-106 win. Well, Embiid recently did an interview with The Athletic, and according to Sham Sharania, Embiid said, I'm not a two-time MVP. I've never made first-team All-NBA. I've never won anything. So why is there pressure on me to do something when there are guys that have a bunch of MVPs and haven't done anything? I mean, the only other guy out there with multiple MVPs that's currently playing is Nikola Jokic. He's got to be talking about Jokic. Giannis has multiple MVPs in his era, but he's won. LeBron's got multiple MVPs in his era. He's won. Steph's got multiple MVPs in his area. He's won. He's got to be talking about Jokic, right? That's clearly a shot 
from Joel Embiid, who's right there in the thick of things in the MVP conversation, alongside Nikola Jokic. We were expecting to get a big-time matchup between these two dominant great centers tonight, and it's not happening. The Philadelphia 76ers have announced that Joel Embiid will not be playing in this big-time matchup. That I Look, this is what I said. I said, I believe the MVP is literally coming down game by game. These dudes have been dominating and I believe a lot of MVP voters would have been swayed by tonight's matchup between the Philadelphia 76ers and Denver Nuggets. We're not going to know, you know, and I'm going to be honest with you as a fan. Like, let's take out the fact that I cover the game and I obviously want to get the best content. A Jokic versus Embiid matchup would have been phenomenal for content. It's not happening. Um, as, a, as a fan, though, of this game, though, I'm disappointed for me and all of you guys. We've been talking about this MVP race for months now, and in, Look, I thought we were going to get that matchup. We got it earlier in the year, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe Embiid won that bad boy last time these two uh, big-time centers got on the court with each other. But it feels like this is the moment now, right? Like, everybody's playing their best ball right now, playing the hardest right now. I just felt like this game was just going to be so great for all the fans out there, and the fact that it's not going to happen, it's disappointing. Look, this was supposed to be the week. I don't know if you guys know, but – um. This the Joel and beating the Sixers are supposed to face Giannis and the Bucks th this coming up Sunday. So we were going to get that matchup on Sunday. We got Jokic versus Giannis over the weekend, and then I thought we were going to get Jokic versus Embiid tonight. Obviously, that would have to me, you know, if Jokic was able to beat both both Giannis and then Embiid. I mean, to be honest with you, I think he would have won his third straight MVP award. That's just my opinion. He took care of half the business. He won't get the chance to take care of the other half of the business. Now, if Jokic goes out and puts up a magical number against the Sixers without Embiid, if Harden plays, we'll see. Then it's kind of like, yo, I did my part. Where's that other dude? He didn't play. I, and I just feel like, Jay, you know, Joel Embiid can't come out and make comments like he made about Nikola Jokic, clearly taking a shot at him. And the article that was released right before this big-time game that they got tonight and then not play, like, what the hell? And B apparently is being sat out for precautionary tales, like meaning he's not hurt, but he's been playing a lot of minutes. He's been playing hard, and the Sixers are got a play, or they got a real chance this year to make some noise out east. And they feel as if though it's more important right now to give Joel and B some rest than for him to go chase down his first ever MVP award to go along, alongside all NBA honors. You win MVP as a center, you're most likely going to win first team All NBA. You hear Joel and B say, "I've never won that award." Because Jokic wins that award over him. But if Embiid would have won MVP, obviously a lot would have been heading in his favor. Momentum would have been swinging in his favor. We're not going to get that matchup, and I'm very disappointed. And I'll take this a step further. I just find it hard to pick Embiid over, over Jokic for MVP right now. I've told you all where my stance is with the MVP race. I've admitted to you guys Embiid has made this thing incredibly close. If the if To me, before this game tonight, if I – I had to tell you who I believe is going to win MVP. I believe the voters are going, are they, they're swinging towards Embiid. My personal selection would be Jokic today, but it is very close. Again, what I would do versus what I believe the media uh, of the voters are going to do with two different things. I think right now they're leaning towards Embiid. I don't think they want to give it to Jokic a third time in a row. I think they're pressed. They feel pressured not to give it to Jokic a third time in a row. Whether you think that's right or wrong, I'm just telling you how it is. I do believe if Jokic has a big performance and the Nuggets win convincingly, I believe tomorrow the, the conversation will swing back into Jokic's favor. We shall see. And Beats not playing in this big-time matchup against Jokic for what I believe to be the MVP lead.